think we can look at the Caddo assassination in a couple of ways. One way is simply that this is a struggle between two powerful neighborhood organizations. And McMullen and his crowd, if they really were responsible for this murder, uh, are feeling threatened by the, uh, the, the leadership uh, in the African-American community. And again, we've talked about the tensions between those two groups. They really are at the bottom of the city's uh, totem pole. I think the other way to look at it is to remember it happens in 1871. And by 1871, the promise that African-Americans had felt at the end of the Civil War and with Reconstruction was already beginning to fade. And Philadelphia's Southern sympathies are still there. The Reconstruction experiment is dying a slow and painful death in the South. And it may manifest itself in these racial tensions uh, coming back, bubbling back up again by the early 1870s here in Philadelphia. Big wars are moments of tremendous transformation and possibility, and then also moments of tremendous reaction and retrenchment. And it's a question of which side is going to get what at the end of the day. So African Americans seize the moment at the end of the Civil War to push a full agenda of, of, of equality and civil rights. It's not it doesn't quite work, and it really won't happen until after the Second World War that that agenda really becomes a, a, a national agenda and really does finally take off. But it does take, that's right, 75 years uh, between that moment and, and the Second World War.